Um, first Wallabies test I can remember was was when the All Blacks were versing the Wallabies, and yeah, I watched Sterling Mortlock get that intercept, that intercept try, and yeah, that was probably that game was the first game I remember that I actually watched live. So yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I used to like dress up in all, all Blacks, and I used to like. Carlos Spence used to strap his right knee, I think it was his right or left, yeah, one of his knees. And I used to do that, and I wasn't even injured when I used to play. I used to just do it anyway, just because he did it. And I remember once when I was young, uh, me and my brother, we um, we used to cut our hair, how Jonah Long we had it. So everything would be short as, and then there would just be this little thing up the front there. I don't even know what that's called, like a little mountain there. But yeah, so we used to do that. It started like slowly happening when I was kind of finishing school, like when I finished school. I just uh, I started to realise like Australia has made me the player I am today. Like Australia's done this, this, this and for me and my family. So that's when I was like, okay, I gotta start going for the Wallabies because it's it's my heart. Like I'm Australian through and through, you know. I love the Wallabies. Uh, it's, it's I only should go for the Wallabies, you know. So that's when I, my heart started to change. So once it did, I love the Wallabies, love Australia, yeah. And yeah, I remember I was standing next to Rocky Olsen. It would have been Rocky Olsen, the, the skipper that, that that game. And yeah, I was standing next to him, and I was like, whoa. He's massive. All right, yeah. So it's pretty cool, yeah. I didn't realize how, how like how how nuts it went until like a kid came up to me and he said, "Hey man, like, you, like I really like fall in love. With, well, I've fallen in love with Australia even more just from seeing you sing that national anthem." And for me, I was like, "Whoa, here I am, just trying to just sing a national anthem, and someone's getting like, someone's getting inspired by that." So no, I was really honored. Eh? I was, yeah, it was pretty, it was a pretty touchy moment eh? when you, when I saw that kid. Eh? Oh man, it would be honestly a dream come true, right? Like, I watch the Blazer every year oh, for as long as I can remember, and just if I get the opportunity to really put on that jersey, man, fire out and take that field for a Blazer, that would be honestly a massive dream come true. Probably be tearing up during the national anthem if I get that shot, so yeah, I hope, hope it happens and yeah, hopefully I get that opportunity, yeah. So it's all sunk in now, and it's good for me, so now I know, like, I know the standard, I know the expectation of Test Rugby, so. Just for myself and I, and I know I can just continually get better and just try and better my game and knowing that the expectation is up here, you know, and yes, yeah. So.